Hi, this is Jason Holmberg from wildme.org. I want to show off the new computer vision component that matches humpback flukes within the Wildbook data management framework. This is a result of the IBIS, IBEIS.org project, which is a consortium of researchers, Princeton University, Rensselaer Polytechnic, University of Illinois, Chicago, and Wildme, who've gotten together to start tackling computer vision problems and do good data management for wildlife. So what I'm going to show is a computer vision component that matches humpback flukes across the Splash catalog. Data has been kindly provided by Cascadia Research Collective. We're going to take a couple of new flukes that are not in the existing catalog of several thousand marked individuals, and we are going to match them. I'm going to show you how quickly and easily we can identify the same animal repeatedly. Uh, from multiple photos in a very large data set. Let's go ahead and quickly submit our two new images. We'll click Report and Encounter. We'll select our image. In this case, I'll grab a new image from 2008, which is not in our existing catalog. Normally in Wildbook, I would now put in date and location, as well as metadata about myself and other attributes of the humpback sighting. I can click Send Encounter Report and go to the web page for this sighting. We can just simply click Start New Matching Scan. Let's go ahead and while we're waiting for this result, submit another. Report an Encounter. We'll grab a second fluke. skip the metadata submission and just go right to the bottom and say send encounter report. We can go to the new page for our encounter. And once again, just say start new matching scan. And what we're doing here is waking up another separate computer vision server uh, that is comparing this new image against thousands of reference images from the splash catalog. Our original scan is already done, so you can see we can compare a very large volume of images very quickly. In this case, the new image on the left matches a two separate reference images which we can show on the right. Importantly, you'll also see no listing of false matches. So we believe the texture matcher, uh, and we're still writing the paper, but we believe the texture matcher gets it right about three quarters of the time, meaning if two images are the same humpback whale based on the fluke image, we believe we get the answer correct about three quarters of the time. Let's go ahead and look at the images. This first one is already shown. You can see the left and the right. This is indeed a match fluke. And here's our second image. Again, notice the differences in the image, rotation, perspective, height out of the water, occlusion from water, uh, and clarity, but we got the match again. This is 520281 from the original Splash catalog, photographed in a subsequent year. Here is our second image, which matched several more images. First one is a match. Second one, also a match to the same animal. This is 450140 from the Splash catalog. Again, a match to a sighting of the same animal. Again, a match to a sighting of the same animal. And finally, one more match. So you can see that we have several images to match against, and we successfully matched against them. All right. This allows us then to quickly click Approve to assign this to 450140 and go about more data curation. This has been a demonstration of the ibis.org fluke matcher, uh, which is incorporated into the Wildbook data management platform. This would allow you to very, very quickly process new images, and figure out which whale you've seen on a particular day. Thanks for your time.